We are here today to welcome Miss Cassara and Deborah to my channel. And today, Cassara is going to show us how to make diva hats. Yes, the diva hats that is very popular that's going along around. Let me get my words together. I'm so excited. I can't even spit it out. So once again, she is going to show us different ways to make gorgeous hats for our divas. So let's get started. Take it over, Miss Cassara. Hi, my name is Cassara Jackson, and I'm the creator and owner of Cassara's 3D Eye with a Custom Twist. I'm also the original designer for the hats that you that we that you see floating around in our diva world uh, using these different types of foam. Uh, so today we're gonna let me show you some of the hats that I made and the foams that I use. This particular hat right here is one of the hats that I created using this particular foam that we're gonna be using today. Also, this hat right here is one of the hats that I created using this particular foam. Okay. This hat right here is another one of my creations I use using a, my made using a different foam. So I'm just going to show you some of the hats that I use and some of the foams that you can use to make a different design. This hat right here, I use this foam, come in different colors different sizes and this hat right here I created using this half foam see okay so now that I've shown you all of the different designs that you can make by using all of the different types of foams then let's make a hat let's get started all right so now we all going to get started making our hats mm -hmm. and once again, Ms. Jackson will be our instructor for today. Yes. Okay, so let me get this so you can see. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do, can everybody see that? Yes. Yes. Okay. We're gonna take the foam, place it, and then you wanna take this mat, put it in the center. Make sure it's centered. Can you see that? Yes. yes. See? Got the little ball right here. Okay. So then you take your rubber bands and you put them around your hat, your uh, foam, working it down all the way to the edge. Some particular foams that you're using, you may have to hold it as you go, and the same with your placemat. All depending on the texture of your placemat. Some are more fallible than others. You can form them easier. This one right here is kind of uh, hard to work with with this particular hat, this particular placemat. So you just keep holding it until you get it in place. Bear with me because it's giving me the run for my money. Okay. So. I think what you can do is just, whoo, there we go. Okay, let's start over. Uh, not to mention, I'm a little nervous here too. Yes, so we're yes, gonna, what we're going to do is just take it, fold it around, hold it, bring it all the way around. Well, this is the kind of harder type of uh, kind of play. camera. Okay, you, okay. So right here, and bring it back up so you can see it. I'm just gonna fold it. Maybe you can bring your camera a little bit up. This particular, how about that? Okay. This particular placemat is kind of a hard type of material. So what I'm gonna do is just bring it in like this can you see it yes okay okay so hold it at the base if you hold if you're working with something really hard like this one 
then just kind of hold your hand around the base to hold it in place. All of them, you don't have to do that, but this particular one that I'm using, I would advise you to just hold, hold it around the base so the rubber bands don't slip off, okay? Fan it out. Once you get it to the edge, because you're trying to get it right here, right here around the edge. This is where you're going to glue it. This is where you're going to glue it in, in place. So before you glue it in place, I will also suggest that you make sure that your hat have the shape that you want. Because once you get it into place, glue it into place, you can't move that. So just play with it. Even if you have to lay it down, see? Just play with it until you get the design that you want that you think is going to look good on the diva that you diva that you're going to put it on so that's what i do i just sim i just kind of play with it fan it out don't be in a hurry because it takes it takes patience to um get the look of anything that you you want even when you're dressing yourself you don't just go in there and just throw something on and call it a day you have to play with it and it's the same with your hats just play with it until you get the, the design that you want can you see that yes see how i'm playing with it okay to make sure i got what i want because once you put it on your diva, you want it so that you'll be able to see her eyes. And so you're going to have to use one of these. See, so I just kind of do that. And then I bring my rubber band down. Now that I got the design that I want, I just kind of bring my rubber band down to the edges and turn it so you can see it. See? See that? And when you, it's easier, you know, when you're doing it at home and uh, you don't have to worry about, okay, if it's, if it's slipped, okay, I can just take my time because I don't have nothing to do, nowhere to go. <laughs> you know? So, I'm try that. And I want to, I'm trying to go as slow as I can because I want everybody to make sure that they see how I do it. Cause that's how I am. I don't, I can't catch on to stuff when people are moving really, really fast. So I want to make sure you got it. Okay, so now, and like like I said, this particular um, foam, because it is in an angle, the rubber bands will slip. All depends on what you're using, and also you be careful with your hot glue gun too, because you will get burned. <laughs> yes, hot glue gun is always hot. <laughs> yeah, it's always hot, and it doesn't care who you who it burns. And it will actually take the skin off of you. Yes. It will blister up real fast. I learned the hard way. <laughs> right. it, it don't care about me. <laughs> okay, so now that you got it down here to the edge where you want it, you want it all the way down to this edge. You know, you may have to take your fingers and push it. Okay, so let's put our glue in here. But like again, I said let's be let's be really, really. Well, I guess I better put a stick in here, huh? That's one thing about glue guns, they will eat your glue sticks up. Yes, if you have it on too long, that's for sure. You look down and it's already gone. Have to put it's it on already sticks. gone. You wondering what happened to the glue? I know I just put something in there. And okay, so going all the way around the edges. All the way around the edges. Can you see that? You take your glue gun and go all the way around the edges, and again. Be really careful with this. I don't want you to burn yourself. And then you say, 
Miss Cassara didn't tell me I was going to burn myself up. Okay. So here we go. Go all the way around the edges, ladies. Okay. Now me, once I get my, my uh, glue all the way around the edges, I take it. And hold it up like this. Just hold it in place. Kind of fan it around. That's what I do. I kind of fan it around. Hold it up there to make sure it's adhering to the edges. Yeah. And don't worry because this hot glue is going to... Um, it's going to uh, eat away a little at your um, foam. But don't worry about that because once it dries into place, you can always go back and put glue. See how mine's did? It kind of ate around the edges, if you can see that. But don't worry about it because I just go back around and fill that in. And I don't worry about how much glue I have right here in the center because that's going to be on the, on the diva head anyway. You're not going to see that. So don't worry about it. Oh, I've just made a mess. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we're just going to fan that and get it all nice and um dry. You want to make sure it's dry and make sure that it's holding. See? See, I even, I even have some right around the, the outside, but I don't, I don't care because when I put it down, it's going to be flat. All right. So don't worry about that. But this is how I created all of my diva hats that you've been seeing. Just like this. And again, my name is Cassara Jackson, and I'm with, and my uh, business is Cassara Jackson 3D Art with a custom twist. So how do you um, decided to come up with this great idea? Uh, just sitting around and I um, couldn't uh, really get the the fold, the pretty folds that I see other people were doing with their hats. You know how they take the place mat and fold it and twist it and come up with all these different designs. And I thought, okay, well, Lord, I need something of my own. So it's one thing about God, you're asking for something and he gives it to you. So I'm just sitting around and I said, well, let me play around with this phone and see what, a, what kind of shapes I will come up with. And that's what I did. And then one day I just sat around and every piece of foam that I had, I made a hat out of it. So that's how I end up coming up with it. And it just looks so pretty to me. I'm like, oh my, look at this. You know, it's something different that I can share with people to give their divas a different look. Right. And I saw uh, your work and I was like, oh, I got to have her on my channel to show the world how to make these gorgeous hats. And a big shout out to you, Shawana, for having me on here. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you. I really do. So... And I got to admit, I'm a little nervous. I'm not a pro like Shawan. Oh. In front of the camera and all that other. Just take your time. Just take hey. your time. <laughs> we are here to learn from you. So, and you and also, you don't have to worry about your embellishment either. You just, just decide what you want to put on there. You make it your own. Whatever you want to put on there. Flowers, ribbons. See, I have a ribbon right here that I'm planning on putting on mine. And don't worry if the glue comes through because you're going to cover that up also with embellishments. So don't worry about that because it will come through because this material is not leak proof. So don't worry about it. So how did your hat come out, Deborah? Oh, you're on mute. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. She's done already. I'm still, see, I'm still fanning mine. I think it came out pretty good. I glued it on the inside. Yeah. 
I fanned it out. I like the way it ruffles. Excellent. I love that. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. I love that. I would wear that myself if it was in a human size. Okay, so my diva's ready to strut her stuff. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I, I chose the navy blue color. Okay. So we're going to uh, adhere um, to the canvas now. We can. All right. We can. I got mine um, down here. Kind of done. We can finish that up later, but I can show you how I do it. I don't see it's still kind of sticky, but still it'll dry. Right. That's what I was kind of waiting on. I just felt it. It's not hot anymore. Yeah, it's not completely dry. Right. And, and, it, and it takes a while. It takes a while to dry sometimes. All depends on what glue stick you're using. Yeah, I use Gorilla Glue. My Gorilla Glue is my friend. And how, and how much glue you use. Because I like to put a lot of glue because I don't want to pop it loose. So mm -hmm. I'll put a lot of glue. And I'll just sit and I'll just fan. Like I said, in the comfort of your own home, you don't have to really worry about how long it's going to take to dry because you have all that time. If you're doing a tutorial, yeah, because you know, you want to go ahead on and get it done. But me, you know, at home, I, I want to make sure everything is okay. So I give it, I give it a chance to really just adhere to the um paper. And it's taking its own sweet time because when I tried to move it. When I tried to move it a few minutes ago, it was coming loose from the sides, and you don't want that. You want it to make you want to make sure that it sticks. Yep. And I guess I'm doing one of your numbers. I need to have my glue done, stick ready. That's fine. Yeah. Right. And you stick, as you can see, I just added my stick, and it's gone already. Yeah. You got to move kind of fast here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put my side on that I made with my bandana. Yeah, I could be just tired. I could be putting that on there while I'm waiting, but I don't want to move this rubber band yet. Who got their embellishment on there? I'm so excited. <laughs> no, I'm waiting. I don't want to take my rubber band off quite yet. No, me either. So I'm just kind of waiting. What about you, Shawana? Well, I'm ahead of the game because mine was already... Um, um, my glue actually did very well. So, so exciting. I am so happy. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> add my hat. Not put it all the way down. And if you have any questions, you can always uh, find me on uh, at my Gmail, CassandraJackson.com or inbox me. Yes. You can inbox me and I, um, I'll answer your questions for you. Oh, it's almost there, ladies. <laughs> oh, look at your Shawana. So you just hold it down real firmly? You just hold it down, yeah. Just hold it down. Okay, okay, mine is ready too. And also, ladies, depending on what uh, canvas that you have, some of them are stiffer than others. So you may have to hold your hat from the back to make sure that it sticks. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All depends on where you go and buy it. That's what I'm trying to say. Because all canvases are not created equally. I'm just <laughs> okay. They're like mine. This one right here. I can't remember where I bought it from, but it's not as thick as some of them. See? See her, ladies? This is what you want your hat. This is what you want your hat to do. Right here. Okay. 
I'm not quite stuck, so I'm just hold it on me. I add a little bit more glue to make sure it's in there. Mm -hmm. And you can add it around the edges, you know, to hold it down. To even to give it a better shape if you want to. The main, the main focus is to get it stuck on your canvas and have it so you can see her face the way that you want to see her face. Like this one right here. See her face? Mm -hmm. I guess you can put something heavy on top while you... Yeah, you can. You know, doing home, you can do pretty much what you want. Or you can just walk away from it and leave and come back. You know, um, there's no rush. Because a lot of times when you do rush, you'll mess up something. Right. So you want to you wanna make sure that you got it right. So when it's time to sell her, you know, she's just right. Right. Well, maybe I can find something heavy to hold it down while it's drying. Who's the Deborah? That's you? Oh, that's me standing up, um, finishing my diva. I apologize. Uh, I came in late. But I'm here. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Uh, you're not bothering us. We're having fun. And that's the whole idea of creating something, too. To be, be in a group, be around people, or what have you, and just have fun. We're ladies. We like to have fun. Well, I thank you, both you ladies, for sharing. I really appreciate it. I am new to crafting, this particular crafting. I am a crocheter. And seeing I've been crafting for about, I want to say about four, five months now. So, and I, I'm, I'm learning. And it's I'm learning. fun to join different groups and enjoy each other company while you learn. Company while we learn. That's what it's all about, sharing our ideas and stuff. That's the fun part. Yeah, it is. I love that part. I love sharing. So I'm just gonna put her a little, put her a little bow on here. So I'm gonna do the her. Oh yeah. She's all ready for the summer, too. She's all ready for the summer, huh? <laughs> yeah. She's ready for the summer. She got on her little flower sundress. That's my imagination. <laughs> I was like a little bit. It's up real close for me to see it. Uh, what you're doing. Oh, okay. See, this is what I'm going to... I'm putting my ribbon on here. Sorry. I got all into it. I'm, I have forgotten. <laughs> okay. See, this is my little ribbon here that I'm going to put on her. Is it possible for you to back back just a little bit more? Okay, how about that? Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to play with this. Can you see that? Just going to play with it. And tie it on. Just going to tie it, make sure it don't come off of her. So how long have you been crafting, Miss Jackson? Uh, I think about four or five months. Oh, okay. So you need to look. Um... I think I really started in August of uh, last year. Oh, okay. So not that first, long. I, I was just doing something. And, um, you know, and I'm going to admit, I learned from different ladies. You know, and I'm not, I don't take nothing from anybody. I first started out doing my hats in a group, learned how to do that. Went on YouTube. I followed you, followed um, Tracy to learn how to do the first set of hats that we was doing. Then I started doing these. So I said, it got to be something different that we can do with these hats. Right. I, I can't fold with for nothing. Right. Uh -huh. I, could, I just couldn't get that fold. It was so pretty, but I, I couldn't get it. And you can only do so much with that. So. Right. 
So you're holding your canvas up to get a... To I'm holding my canvas up so I can straighten this out. Okay. Just to straighten it out, but I'm going to show you just so you can get a good idea and of what it would look like with some things, things on here. Are you uh, pasting yours to your canvas, Miss Deborah? Yes, I am. Am I off the camera? I apologize, but I have to get on a solid surface so I can do this. Can yeah. you see this? See, this is what I put on mine for now. Okay. I'm not going to glue it down. What you want to do, though, if you're going to put your embellishment on there, just lay your stuff on before you glue it down. Because if I decide, you know, since I didn't glue this down, if I decide I want to do a different color ribbon or just do some flowers or something, I can. There's a lot of things you can do with these hats. You can put anything on them that you want to put on them. Right. To make them look pretty. And so you're designing it to your own taste. That's what that's what this is all about. That's why we create. Yes, I agree. And have fun at the same time. Have fun at the same time. Have fun. I learned from I learned from you, Shawana. I'm following you. Let me see here. Okay, Miss Jackson, why don't you just tell us? Once again, about your diva hats. Okay, so I'm going to go back over the phones, the, the different types of phones, the shapes that I use, and what hat that I made with them. This particular hat right here, I use a bigger half ball. Can you see that? And I use this phone right here for this hat, okay? This um, square hat, this hat right here. See, I use a square foam to get this shape, this, okay? I'm just gonna set that over there, out of the way. Now this hat right here, you can get a bigger phone for it. I don't have that on hand right now, but you can find them at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, anywhere where they sell phone, and you'll get this shape of hat. That's a nice big hat. Yes, yes, it, it is. is. It is. And this hat right here. I love that color. That color is Thank you. Pop. This hat right here, again, I use this round phone, comes in white, green, and I got this shape right here using this one. Okay. Um, this hat, of course, and I don't have the phone. I don't, this right here is the little ball that we use to create our hats. Okay. That's why I don't have it on uh, hand because it's inside this hat. But it's the, it's the foam that you get that's kind of has a little point to it. And you will come up with this shape and the shape that we use to create our hats today. And again, this is a um, white foam. Got you this is another white foam. And see, and this is a, a bigger one. You can get a smaller little ball like this and you can get this size that comes in a bigger one. And I don't have that on hand, I apologize. This hat right here, this is the foam I use to get this hat. See, the top is not that big. See? And again, you want to make sure, you want to make sure that you come around the edge, come all the way close to the edge. You can use any kind of foam that you want, okay? And, and create your hat. Just take your time, use your imagination, and just go for it. Thank you, Shawana, for having me. You are the best at this idea. And I am so happy that I met you and we had a ball today. Yes, we did. And let me put down this hat or I won't burn myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be, be careful with that glue. 
Can we see what you're working on there? I know you're still working at it. I'm still putting my hat down, but I'm just about finished. I was just doing the final touch so we could see our eyes. You want me, I'm going to turn it around and hopefully you can see it. Here she is. Oh, she's beautiful. I love her. Yeah, I love the hat. Oh, you know, I'm going to either oh. add oh. the bow. I'm going to maybe do some real. flowers. I haven't decided yet. Oh, I love the bow. Put the bow back on there. Let me see it again. Yes. Oh, Ooh, was that jury? Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, I love the way. I really love the way she turned out. Thank you, Miss Sierra. I appreciate it. For allowing me to sit in on this video. And like I said, this is my final touch on mine. So I just add a little butterflies and yeah, head, yeah. This is my final one. See? I love they that. They are so pretty with the different hats. It's yeah. so pretty. So enjoy. Enjoy right. what you got, Shawana. Let's see yours. You're not going to get away. We want to see yours, too. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm trying to entertain my friends. And, uh, <laughs> and you are awesome folks, but we want to see yours, too. As the and host. I'll be able to get all of their homes. Hopefully. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love working with you ladies. Y'all are a joy to work with. Good conversation. Same here. Everything. Thank you so much. I really do enjoy having you. Thank you. Little bling bling going across my girl. And um, the way Ooh, let me you see. Find my angle is already uh, shown. Thank you once again for coming to my channel and showing us how to rock these hats. And thank you for going step by step and showing us. And I hope everyone in YouTube land will uh, take your advice and make these gorgeous hats in different sizes and different ways. And I would love to show you guys our hats. Here go mine. Here's mine. Here's mine. So thanks once again. Thank you, Shawana. Thank you, Shawana. Adam. Thank you, Miss Sierra Johnson Jackson. And if you, you would like, if you would like to join my classes so you can have fun, make it more deep, cash out me or buy me a car to join the membership. All right. See you next time. Yes. Bye, ladies. Have a good one. You too. Have a blessed.